everybody, it's Carla. <laughs> it's my husband pulling off. He's about to go run some errands. I thought maybe you'd like to come with me. I'm gonna get some leaves and do a little project I've had in mind for a while now. So I'm gonna walk down here to the cul-de-sac and um, see what leaves I might be able to find. I thought I'd bring you with me. It's a really, really pretty day here in North Carolina. Oops! <laughs> I keep forgetting I don't live in North Carolina. I lived there 14 years and now I'm in South Carolina. It's pretty much the same thing though. So, these are slightly smaller. But I'm going to pull a couple of them down, if I can reach. Ugh. I don't know if this is going to work, but we're going to find out. Let's see. These are kind of pretty. I threw my son's Crocs on my feet. Can you see that? We don't wear our shoes in the house, and these were at the front door, so I just slipped them on so I could run out. These are pretty. Okay, I wish there were some different shaped leaves. I probably should have gone to the parkway. See what I can find over here. Hmm. They're all kind of maple leaves right now. Okay. Well, I don't have on the shoes to walk up that embankment. This one's pretty. Maybe we'll just try a few. Okay, I'll take you inside and I'll show you what I'm about to do. So, I don't know if you could see, but I put the leaves on the actual copier. Oh, I hope they're not overlapping. I'm trying to hold my camera with one hand. So we'll see how it comes out. And then I'm just going to push copy. And we're gonna print the leaves. And see how it comes out. Printing them in color. And oh, there we go. They look pretty good. Oh, I cut one of them off. Okay, well, I'll do a couple more and then I'll show you what I'm going to do next. Okay, so this time I'm going to put in copy paper that's got some parchment paper mounted to it. I can't slide it in by itself because it's too thin. So let's see how it copies on this one. So I still have the leaves under on the copier. It probably would print a better photo, but let's just see how this one does. And then I'm going to try printing it on tea dyed parchment paper. Oh, okay. So they printed pretty on just the plain parchment paper. So now I have one, where is it? That I mounted on some regular copy paper. Hoping it'll slide through nicely. If you hear a bunch of crunching, it didn't work. But this is this is the paper. It's just tea dyed parchment paper. And we'll try it again. And again, I apologize because I have to hold the um, camera for this. I'm trying not to bump around too much. Oops, oops, is it going to make it? 
sometimes it yells at me and says, don't do that. It's going so far so good. Yay! Look at that. So my real leaves are now paint printed on the crinkly paper that I love so much. I actually have some fabric. I'm going to try the fabric one. It's going pretty well so far. I'm probably pressing my luck here, but I'm going to slide one of those in too. detecting a different size paper. Is it going to go? It went through, yay! <laughs> I literally always have to hold my breath when I'm trying to get something other than paper. But it worked! So this is the leaves printed. Uh-oh, it wrinkled a little, so I've got a split there. Those are the chances you take when you make your own fabric to go through. But I have a few that'll work. I think those would be pretty to stitch around onto a tag. But I'll do a little bit more video to see what we can maybe do with them. We'll play with them a little bit. And again, if you didn't see, all I did was I laid the leaves directly on the copier and put a plain sheet of white paper over them. And now that I know it's going to work, I'll get a different, more variety of leaves, too. So I didn't want to bore you by having you watch me fussy cut my copied leaves, um, but I am going to cut a few out while we chat a little bit. And if you'd like to visit with me and maybe go get a cup of tea or a little bit of something you're crafting then maybe you can use it with me for a minute yeah I love doing these projects excuse me I'm gonna crinkle this a lot oops so I didn't have my mounting tape so I just glued this on to run it through the copier and it really stuck <laughs> So what I typically do is mount the thin parchment paper to the copy paper and then run it through because when I try to just run the uh, parchment paper through, it jams because it's so thin. So I just have a pair of detailing scissors and sometimes, because they're so sharp, I can literally just slide them across and it cuts it razor sharp so if I really wanted to be fussy about it I could get every little jagged edge of the leaf I'm not going to be that meticulous um, but with these scissors you really could I think they're just a little pair of Singer brand detailing scissors. But they're nice and sharp, which is helpful. And then they've got that nice point to get down in the little grooves if I need to. So I hope everyone's well. I've been really consumed with doing pottery projects because I teach ceramics and this time of year, we're usually getting our own personal work ready for the annual sale that we have every year. And it was virtual online because of the pandemic last year. But this year, the gallery is going to be open again. The studio I work for has a gallery and we have a sale 
where we basically transformed the entire studio into a nice shopping event. And I have a few pieces that I'm trying to get done and they're quite time consuming. But one of them I'll come back and show you because it's almost along the lines of the fairy houses. It's a clay gingerbread house. And we're going to do a family workshop this year where parents and children will come and create their own clay gingerbread house that can either be a luminary where you put a candle in it or it can be a cookie jar. And I made a sample one that ended up... Um, I went over the top kind of like I always do with details. So it took a long time and it's still in the process of getting glazed and once I'm completely finished I'll come back and show it to you. But I've had this leaf um, idea for several weeks now. Our trees haven't completely changed yet. So that was partly why I was having a little trouble finding a variety of leaves um, and colorful ones. But I found a nice amount. Next time I'll walk over to the parkway where there will be some more variety of trees like oak trees. And I love the sycamore leaves. Um, I use those a lot in my pottery. But for today... I really just wanted to do this idea before autumn is over and I haven't tried it. You know, I think I have enough of these cut out now, but if you can tell, really crinkly baked paper. And this one was on that parchment paper that I purchased that really was supposed to be authentic parchment paper. And it is very nice paper, it's just, it was a little thicker than I wanted. Um, but I went ahead and printed the leaves on some of this too. I'm just going to cut this one last one out. So, like I said, I was hoping everyone's doing okay. I know life has its ups and downs. And so everyone's not possibly well all at the same time, but... For those of you who are happy and well, I'm happy for you. And those of you who are struggling or suffering in any way, I will say a prayer for you. And I hope you'll find some comfort and peace in this day in some way or another. Um, because life's challenges abound. And I wish I could just say, oh, let's just all be happy, but that's not real life. Um, the crafting sure does help in times when we just need a diversion. And I love fall. I know a lot of you do too. It's my favorite season for so many reasons. I love the colors. I love the cooler weather. I like the comfort food that comes along with cooler weather and hot cocoa. And you see me? I just picked up these scissors and started doing this again because I also find fussy cutting kind of a nice therapeutic process. Um, so anyway, I hope you guys have been getting a little moment to craft. And if you do, make videos and share them with us because I'm always inspired and entertained and it's one of my favorite ways to watch if I'm going to sit down and watch anything. I love watching crafters videos and um, I like process videos when people are actually creating the items that they craft on camera. I know it's kind of hard to do because I just I just call mine craft and chat because I'm never really together enough to call it a tutorial. Um, 
and I just use it as a time to relax myself but sometimes YouTube can feel like such a wide world of people that you know you're not really connecting with you kind of have that false sense of oh let's all get together and, but you know it is a lonely place too sometimes for people and people aren't always sure there's somebody really watching and I literally just enjoy it and I do love that I do feel connected to my subscribers and I do actually consider many of you friends but um, there is that potential of feeling like you're just a tiny little tadpole in a huge ocean of big fish <laughs> So that's why I like to encourage people to comment and say hello, not just to me, but to everyone. Oh, that reminds me, um, Evie, she has a channel, it's called Epsilon, Handma oh, ha Epsilon Handmade Crafts. Anyway, I will link her um, channel because many of you know Evie and she's such a sweet fun girl and she I don't know why I say girl but I think that's just how I refer to us ladies as girls anyway Evie's doing a challenge and she's giving away two adorable little Christmas journals she wants to grow her channel and so I want to encourage you to just go over and subscribe um, she does wonderful junk journals and she's just really she does a neat job of putting together her signatures and compiling such a wonderful variety of um, papers and ephemera and tags and she does lots of you know really creative little tucks and um, tags and unexpected little um, spots in her journals anyway I just really like watching her um, and I do think you will too so if you get a chance and you're not already subscribed please go over and um, subscribe to her channel and join in on her challenge and you might get to win one of her cute little Christmas journals um, that will really come in handy sooner than later um, okay so here are my leaves and if you know me, I love woodland themed things. It's just my favorite. So I pulled out some of my six by six paper and mounted on this tea dye, tea dyed card. And so I thought one of my tags, I'm just gonna dangle some leaves from the corner of this, this tag. And if you can see the paper, I really like it. It's got deer and foxes and bunnies and flowers and leaves and acorns and all the wonderful things that you find in the woodland forest except I didn't cut that straight so I'm going to cut this a little straighter this is not straight oops there is one spot on here that's not very sharp. There we go. So one way I wanted to make a tag. Let's go ahead and ink around the edges of this one. I'm going to like this one. I just love the characters on this this paper and you can see on the other side I just have some tea dyed card and then I'm going to use I have my eyelids but I think I'm just going to do a paper one and I want to be on the corner So I have these little um, paper 
protectors, what do you call them? Hole protectors, something like that. Anyway, a paper reinforcers, hole reinforcers, <laughs> something like that. And then I've got these two different eyelash trims. One is in these beautiful harvest colors, oranges and beige colors. And then one is this really pretty variety of greens. And I think I'm going to use, let me cover that back up. I think I'm going to use the green. And then, I don't know, these are pretty thin, but I, I just like that. So I'm going to go ahead and punch a hole in this one and then layer it with this one. probably could use the page protector on here, but I think not only will I do that, I'll add a little bit of the glue. Just to keep them from falling apart. And then put the little page protector on. not a page protector, it's a reinforcer. It's reinforcing the hole. It's probably the, a proper term that I'm not using. Sometimes these gummed ones don't stay on this kind of paper. So I'm adding a little bit of glue and then I'm just going to layer them on top of here. And I think I'll use the green. And try to poke that through. Just like that. This is making me want to do another woodland journal. One of my favorite themes. I love fairy and woodland and I like vintage shabby chic too though, but I guess because of the time of year I'm really enjoying the woodland theme. Move some of this out of the way, give this a little tie. So Wednesdays are my only real full day off and sometimes I stay running the streets going from thrift store to thrift store <laughs> but today I decided I really wanted to just stay put and enjoy well I was outside for a little bit enjoying the weather not long just a little while and now I am here crafting and I don't really have a big plan to make dinner. I think we're going to have leftovers tonight, which is always helpful. And I'm going to get myself in a nice crafting mode where I can hopefully stay put. So there's this one. That was really fun. And then we have the leaves. So let's do one more. Oh, I wanted to show you this too. Um, when you go to the home improvement stores and there's the paint section, I was just having, I was waiting for my sister. She was getting some wood cut and I was reading the different titles of the um, paint swatches and they are so inspiring, these titles. They can take you off onto a crafting journey all themselves just by the title of the colors like this one's called chocolate soul this one's gardener soil if you're interested anyway i just found them fascinating <laughs> doesn't take much to entertain me espresso beans this one's called morning tea and this one is dried chamomile so aren't they creative? They really are creative names. This one's called Summer Dragonfly. I love that name. 
and then Peaceful River. Who wouldn't want one called Peaceful River? And Wild Pansy. It's a beautiful shade of purple, even though it's looking very blue in my camera. So is this one when it's called Hopeful Dream. Oh, I love that name. And then Timeless Ruby. It's a beautiful shade of red. And look what this one's called. Totally inspiring. Pearls and Lace. And this one is just XOXO. It's kind of fun. And this one's the Dandelion Wish. And then I showed you all of those just to show you these two. One's called Colorful Leaves and one's called Harvest Time. So I thought I would do a couple tags using these as a tag. Because these are just the perfect size for tags. So I tried not to get greedy, but I did take quite a few. And all I'm going to do is punch a hole and put my little reinforcers on. I'll leave it out like that. And I'm going to leave the, t the name of the tag so that since I am using them for leaves. Oh, I wanted to mount this on. I want to mount these first. So let's do that. Because on the back, it's telling about the paint. So these aren't the most creative tags. Um, they're kind of simple um, and understated. But I think... It's because I didn't want them to be too fussy because I like just the natural woodland theme. Um, so I just wanted to mount these on tea dyed card so I didn't have all the advertising of the actual paint on the back of, of the um, of a little paint swatch, but again, that one's called Harvest Time, and this one's called Colorful Leaves. So I'm just going to put my little gum reinforcers on here. Let's see if I can. Um, there we go. And then I just need one on the back. So if you haven't seen a video on making faux fall leaves, I hope this has inspired you to try it. It really does make a pretty little addition to anything fall related in your journal or anything um, woodland themed. You know, I punched a hole in that one, but I don't think I want to do it that way. I think I just want to glue these on. Oh, and you know what else I have? I have this tablet of gauze paper um, I ordered it from Craft Supplies for You, but it's almost, it's called gauze paper, but it's almost like um, cheesecloth in different colors, mounted on colored paper, which makes it really interesting. I'm thinking I'll use a little bit of this color. I don't know if this will tear. But let's try it. I wish there was a golden color. There is not. So let's see. Does this tear? Not very well. But it does. Yeah, it's tearing okay. And it's getting a little of a nice ragged edge. Oh, I like that. So let's ink that a little bit. 
Can you see the fibers of the paper? There we go. And then I think I'll just glue it on. almost wish I hadn't put that reinforcer there yet. Um, should I just make it more narrow? I don't know what I'll do. No, that wasn't a very bright idea. Okay. That's why I call it craft with me, because I am not by any means trying to teach you how to do this. I'm kind of winging it. There we go. I guess if it were clay, I could definitely say I'm teaching you. Um, let's see. We're just going to make that work. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue. I do find that I'm not ever doing anything all that complicated. I love just the simplicity of sitting down and putting it together. And that's what we're doing together right now. So that worked. I like that. And I'm just going to trim this to match that. a little bit. That helps. So you can see there's that and then I'm just going to glue on my parchment paper leaves. Get it to go that way. And then I'll do orange one. I had a green one, but it might be too big. Oh no, I used my only green one. Hmm. I'll print some smaller green ones later. And I'm going to put this one underneath the smaller one. I think that layers better that way. space in between so you can see the definition in the leaf. If I do this again, I'll ink around those leaves too. I think it'd make them stand out a little better. But I like the color contrast with the green gauze paper. And then maybe we'll use this one on here. We'll do this one. Oops, I went my dabber. This one will loop through. Like so. And I think I'll do a knot. Oh, I like this. I like the harvesty colors of the eyelash trim with the tag. So it could be endless. I have this one that I'll do off camera because I've been going for quite a while here. But isn't this fun when you look at the real ones and then my parchment ones? These almost look more real because of the rippling of the paper. Like this is a real one. 
and it's drier and older so it's kind of got the ri rippling of the paper so I'm going to clean up now it's been wonderful visiting with you I also have some twine I thought that would be a nice rustic look for a tag but I could make several more I'm getting myself a little messy so I'm going to clean up and move and do a little more after I get my space a little more cleaned up because I tend to just make a huge mess before it's all said and done um, but I hope you can see that okay um, maybe I should I'll put them on this white piece of paper so there are my two faux leaf tags and I hope you enjoyed these videos I love when I can have a chance to come on and do a video and feel like I'm visiting with friends and crafting so please leave a comment let me know how you're doing and I love seeing your videos so I'll look for them and you all take care we'll talk to you again soon bye